right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the GSL Code A semifinals. We are here at the Mukgong Studio in Seoul, Korea. Casting for you guys, thanks to the help of Sony Ericsson, G Skill, and Intel, helping us out with some some moolah, some skrillas, yeah. so that we can <laughs> pay these players to for to what? <laughs> Got a problem with the skrills? <laughs> Sage versus Oz is tied up right now. We're going to get into game three in just a minute. What are you laughing about? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. I just also want to say thanks to Pepsi for uh, providing us drinks at the studio. You guys can come down to the studio in Mokdong if you're in Seoul. If you're not in Seoul, why aren't you in Seoul? And if you are in Seoul, yeah. why aren't you in Mokdong? Why aren't you drinking Pepsi? There's just no answer to that question. There is no answer. They're like, well, I was, I had to work. I, what? I, no, no. No one has to work right now except players and casters. I'm like, it's after GSL. five. You can fly. You can teleport. Yeah. You can exactly. blink. Do you guys know you can actually blink <laughs> on the map? On, on the map, Earth. You can actually blink from California to Seoul. Yeah, but you have to blink to Hawaii, wait for the cool down, and then yeah, do it does blink. take two blinks. Yeah, it takes two blinks. But you can do that in the amount of time it takes for a five minute commercial break between matches. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, cool down's only a few seconds. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so we're going to get started with game number three here in just a minute. Sage taking game number one. Sage kind of throwing away game number two when he had a really solid advantage in that. He had the perfect counter. He got the robotics facility. Yeah. He saw the Dark Templar. He force fielded it out. He got the observer. He got the second observer to defend his main when he, he even made a third when observer. When he went for his timing attack and then actually didn't send that observer to yeah. actually follow the Dark Templar, and so went and killed his assimilator. I don't know. Well, anyway, he, he, he went into up the ramp. But there was no reason to go up the ramp, and that was just an unfortunate situation. He thought he was more ahead than he was. He's like, well, clearly you made an expansion, and this is PvP, so... Yeah, I mean, it, it had some merit. I mean, he, like, he unpowered one of the gateways, and, you know, if he'd unpowered two of the gateways, he might have been able to get enough advantage there. So I don't know. Uh... It was a good thought, but we're going to find out if his thoughts will be better in game number three in just a second. All right, but first of all, here is the winner of the last game. He's followed the yellow brick road all the way to the semifinals. <laughs> You know, I saw something the other day. Wait. Well, hold that thought. A member of the Lollipop Guild. <laughs> guild is it's Guild, right? It sounded like they said Guild, but I thought it was Kids. Like we are the Lollipop Kids. I thought it was Lollipop. I I sound like they said Guild when I was a kid, but now I'm like, well, clearly they were saying Guild. Is it Lollipop Guild or Guild? I thought it was Kids. So I, I don't you know. should tweet at Epixo Wolf and Moltrap uh, about this. We need to solve this mystery. Oh, man. Because if there's a lollipop guild, then I wonder if they also have guilds of Tootsie Rolls, for example. Yeah, that'd uh, be pretty good. Or bubblegum. I prefer Tootsie Rolls, personally. What if you had a Tootsie Pop guild? It combined the two? Whoa. It's like Zen X. Whoa. Of, it's like the Zen X Whoa. version of these two things. <laughs> you combine two of these guilds. Uh, they have the Tootsie Pop pro gaming team. Yeah. And Oz. Through. Once when I was a kid, one of my teachers had this system where, like, if you did well on tests and stuff, you got points. You got these, like, fake dollars. And then you could you could um, uh, buy stuff, like, every month or something. They had, like, a, an auction. And my crowning achievement for that entire year was winning the auction where I got a fat bag of, like, 300 Tootsie Rolls. Wow. Not the large ones, but the small ones. I was, like, Tootsie Roll rich. As, like, an 8-year-old or a 9-year-old, whatever I was... Like, I felt rich. I was like, I've got so many Tootsie Rolls. I get to choose who gets Tootsie Rolls in the class and who doesn't. Yeah, man. All the girls liked you, I'm sure. No, they didn't. It's not fun. <laughs> well, Tootsie right Rolls now, are not enough. <laughs> right now, the core is much ahead for Oz. Similarly to last game, actually. He's been able to get his Warp Gate research out a little bit faster. Sage taking a second gas here, actually in plain sight of Oz. And Oz may reply by taking his own second, and indeed he does. This is um, what I like to call the non-aggression pact of PvP, where both players take their <laughs> second gas, and 
show it to one another, saying, well, I will not forgate you if you do not forgate me. <laughs> Later on, uh, they're going to have the PvP detente. <laughs> so they, they both, like, unpower one of their warp gates to show that they're, they're looking forward <laughs> to peace. <laughs> they're like, all right. I'm actually going to kill my own robotic support bait to show I won't be making any more ma weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> and a little bit of aggression going yeah, on Yeah, Oz making Oz. some aggression here, putting down pylons. And this Scaring might be a opponent. fake, he's, though. He's gone up to three gateways back in his main, and uh, I don't think this is a fake. He's going to have to pull back here for just a little bit of time, but those pylons will still finish. Interesting. And when they do, he's actually, since he has warp gate research faster than his opponent, yep. he's actually able to warp in three stalkers. And he actually could end the game from here, but this is not an all-in by any means. Not controlling his stalker very oh well no. there for a moment, though. Some damage on that. Needs to warp in those extra there stalkers. There he goes. There Two go. more. And the third one warping oh. in as well. This is not looking good for Sage. So the Zealot coming in there is going to buy one more hit from those stalkers. He's supposed to pull probes. And here's the real gold of this situation. Now Oz can pick off probes and be micros against them. Yeah, this is just a pressure move. He's going to kill a decent amount of probes. He's actually going to be able to warp in more units here very soon because he was able to warp these in first. Will he decide to do it or will he pull back? And no. he is going to warp in a Zealot here, actually warping in a few more Zealots. This is not looking good for Sage. No, it's not. He's going to be able to kill off those probes very quickly yeah, with the so Zealots. So many probes being taken out here by Oz. And wow. he is going to lose a few Stalkers, though. He's going to have to go home. But right now, the probe count is 23 probes to 16. Oz, seven probes ahead. Even going to target down another. Actually decides to scout, saying, well, I... I think there might be a specific reason why you didn't have enough units, but he actually found out that that is not the case. It's just that his warp gate research was faster, and that's all it takes. If your yeah. first units get into the base and you can get those pylons up and your warp gate research is done faster, that's what happens. And now Sage is countering right now. This is a smart move. He knows he has, he knows he has A, a larger army, and B, he knows Oz isn't going to be making units for a minute because he didn't have any pylons for a second yeah. there. So, and, uh, good time to counterattack. Oz is prepared, though. He's got three it's, sentries. It's good to move out and pressure like this, but if he actually makes a pylon and commits to this, it'll actually be really silly because he knows that Oz knows that he's vulnerable. So, Oz has actually made a total of three sentries here. And he is he's going actually going to go for it, and Oz does not react in time. He is going to be able to trap these units, barely gets them out in time. And he is going to lose these sentries, most likely to the Zealots, and now he's in a lot of trouble because. That pylon's get getting pretty close to being finished. He oh, no, he traps the Stalkers in inside. again. Yeah, this is not looking good for Oz. More Zealots are being warped in onto the high ground for Sage. But Oz actually using these probes quite well. He has a decent amount of probes to use at this point. Even if he loses a crew, it's not going to be a terrible situation for him. And actually, he is going to clean out this attack by the looks of things. But will more units be warped in for Sage? Oh, Oz needs a micro perfectly here. He needs to be careful and not lose that sentry. He does pull it away. The Zealot dies. The Stalker dies as well. There's just Zealots there now. Yeah, he and it looks like he's going to hold. That. He's definitely going to hold. And right now definitely. he's still 10 probes ahead despite all of this. Wow. Yeah, I mean, the critical difference was in Oz's pressure, he was able to kill off about seven or eight probes, something like that, nine, maybe even nine or 10. Sage killed like two probes in that whole engagement. And Oz was able to get out with the most of his units in that case as well, whereas Sage lost all of his units. Yeah. He didn't kill very many probes. His opponent already had more probes than he did. And Oz was able to pull a few probes to defend while continuing mining with most of his probes because he just had that many more probes. Yeah. Originally, I was a little bit um, worried for Oz because he kept doing force fields that would trap all of Sage's units inside and it would like stop the reinforcements from joining in, but for a while there was an even battle. It was, was really actually scary. Forced for back. Him. It was really scary. That's why he had to pull probes, especially with the warping on the high ground with those pylons there. But it worked out for Oz, and so Oz is actually just going to expand off of this, knowing that Sage is now worried about a counter counter attack. Now, what these players are making right now, of course, is a Twilight Council for Sage, and for Oz, a Nexus is going up. Now, Oz does have a robotics facility. He's going to want to use that to make a few immortals once he gets wind of what's going on. He has seen with his observer the Twilight Council, so he knows what's going on. He needs to start making some immortals. In fact, he's chrono boosting out one right now. And eventually, he's going to have to get his own Twilight Council because if your opponent goes blink and you do not, yeah. then you're going to lose if his multitasking is uh, even okay. Like Even if his okay multitasking is going to be you. Uh-oh, Sage was trying to sneak a hidden base. Oz spotted it. And Oz is actually prepared for anything. Wow. He's like, well, what are the ways I could lose this game? 
And he's like, well, if he hides a base, like, maybe he can catch up. So I'm just going to go check for that. I have an observer seeing if he's moving out of his base. And I Perfect. know that he's not doing that. So I can actually send my units into eight different directions. I don't yeah. need all my units to be together right now because I see that his units are in his base just sitting there. Exactly. He, he fanned out all of his units and checked a lot of different locations at once. Beautiful play. And Sage, I mean, you saw it. We keep seeing his base, his front door. He's cowering right now. Yeah. He's like chilling at the top of his ramp with sentries and stalkers. He doesn't even, I don't know if he even realized that Oz is taking an expansion. Well, right now, Sage is down about 30 supply, 73 supply to 43. He does not have vision of the Nexus, so in all likelihood, he does not know about it. But he knows when he saw the, the units that were moving around the middle of the map, he probably knows what's going on, but there's nothing he can do about yeah, it. There's exactly. nothing he can do. He's actually going to move out to take out this pylon, and that's exactly what Oz wants him to do, because Oz is going to catch his units in the middle of the map. He actually decides to pull back, though. Oh. So he's just going to let that pylon go. Not going to try to trap Sage's units. Even so, that's totally fine. He's still 30 supply up. He's now getting his own Twilight Council, and that is the deal sealer. That's like the final signature. Just sign that last piece like before you can stamp it. <laughs> that's what he needs. He gets that Twilight Council out, then he'll have his own blink so that when Sage blinks to retreat, he can just blink to chase, yep. and the game will end. Pretty much. And in the meantime, Oz does have a bigger army. Sage, even with Blink Micro, doesn't really have enough to deal with what Oz has right now. So Sage just has to just be really uh, defensive at the moment. Trying to take out these random pylons around the map. Might as well if he's got his stalkers hanging around, but decides yeah, not to I kill mean, that zealot. That's, that's the thing about blink stalkers is they allow you to be extremely mobile and do things like this because there's no loss to doing it because you can always escape. So Sage is doing everything he can at this point, but he's no longer... Um, He's no longer 30 supply down, he's now 40 supply down because that I Nexus is really kicking in. The blink of Oz is about a fourth of the way oh, done. Oh, look at this. Ouch. Ouch. Not a good moment to attack here. Oh. He has to blink all of his units away but loses several stalkers. Now he's 50 supply down. Yeah. And we're just going to see. I don't know what he's doing even right now. Well, he's, he's got to do something. He's, you're right. He's got to do something. But basically what's going to happen is Oz's blink is going to finish. He's going to move out. Sage is... Nexus will have just gotten up, and he won't have been able to get enough units out with it yet. And Oz is just going to roll him over with uh, just way more units. Right now, Oz... 50 supply up. Yeah, Oz has an observer as well. He sees the Nexus. He sees exactly how many sentries there are over there. He knows the composition. He knows he can crush this army. He's actually going to catch these stalkers out in the middle of the map as well. Sage is in so much trouble here. He's going to see this army. He's going to try to poke and then blink back. And then Oz is going to blink on top of him. Blink almost oh, finished not for quite Oz. done. Almost finished. See, he was starting to move out now. Oh, Blink is going to complete. Blink's done for Oz. He is pursuing, and if Sage turns around to fight, then the mortals will catch up and own them. So he has to keep running. Oz and continues to chase here. He has an observer, so Oz can actually avoid this army and blink into the man. It's a very difficult map to blink into the man on, but it's still doable. And there are a few sentries with enough energy for Guardian Shield here that's going to come into play. There he goes But in. he's just got so many Immortals to supplement this. Force Shield's going down, but that doesn't matter very much. He actually wants him to do that. A Manor Nexus goes oh, down. Oh, Manor Nexus! And a Manor Pile on the boot uses his own Force Fields to force him to blink again. Busting yeah, and he's just force breaking fields. through and he's running out of energy. He doesn't even have much more for Guardian Shield at this point. And Immortal doing battle with sentries. But the rest of the world wow. is not really able to fire, but even so, Oz just has so many more units in general, it doesn't matter. Yeah, as soon as GG. those four skills fall down. GG! Oz is up 2-1. to one. Beautiful, beautiful play. He was in a little bit of danger there for a minute, but fought it off somehow, some way, and got back into the game and then just rolled him over with a superior economy. And, uh, yeah, that last battle... Oz was just sitting there basically just waiting for the force fields to fall so the rest of his army could get into battle so he could just win the game. And I guess they shouldn't have bitten his hands, man. <laughs> well, really curious to see what our next map is. I'm actually going to look that up now because I have gotten it. Our next map is going to be Belshire Beach. Belshire Beach. A uh, map that was actually very difficult to foregate on before the patch because it was that high ground area that was easy to defend where you could get both a concave and a high ground from that. Now it's no longer there. So now it's actually a map that you almost absolutely have to foregate on. Yeah. There is the secondary ramp of the natural, but it's not a ramp you can defend with force fields. So 
that's not a really, that's pretty much a negligible fact about this map in PvP. Yeah, it's a really difficult little choke to defend. Um, it's similar to Taldry Malta where you have to foregate. There's one little choke point and both players want to have the better concave on the other side. So, for example, if one player is foregate, I'm going like, to make a diagram for you guys. It's like, here's the choke point. The stalkers have the concave on this side so the defender goes back into his main and he has the concave and you're trying to funnel. You just kind of keep dancing back and forth like that. I'm still doing hand motions even though you guys can't see me. Quit biting your hand, Wolf. Not biting my hand. Just kidding. I um, am a wizard Protoss, though. Actually, there are three wizard Protosses. There's Sage, Oz, and there's Wolf. Um, they actually don't classify me as a wizard Protoss. They don't They, they don't see me as part of their group, but yeah. I actually am. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I've, I've never heard of a fairy tale or anything where a wolf was a wizard, but... Uh... There are statues of me on Metalopolis, okay? <laughs> Don't question me. There are statues of me on Metalopolis. There's right. two of them. Oz is one game away from victory. Let's find out if he can pull it off.